I see you. Bugs, bugs all day, bugs all day. I put the in an insect. This I think is a spur-throated grasshopper. I put the in an insect. Got one. I'm gonna coin that, it's gonna be a shirt. You'll be the first one to buy it. Oh, I know what that is. This class is called Insect Biology Lab. It's a lab that's a companion to a lecture course on insect biology. We're really proud of this place and um, it's obviously quite different than what was here. So a lot of our labs feature this uh, outdoor kind of field experience, which we feel is really important for students who are studying ecology and evolutionary biology. Here you go. Ah! So we're at the Cook's Branch Conservancy. And so one of the things that's really exciting about coming out here is that it's a large expanse of a natural environment that's been restored over the last few decades, and it's close to Houston. So there's very few places that are this large that have natural environments that are you know, close proximity to Houston where we can actually go and give students an opportunity to be out in the field in nature and see some of the native species of insects that we have in the area. We're excited about new partnerships that really open uh, the Conservancy up to research opportunities, and this partnership with Rice is the perfect example. Rice brings an excellent um, standard of research, right? Excellent reputation, excellent professors. Also, it's a small and manageable size, which was important for us because we don't, we haven't, we don't have the infrastructure and the staff to really accommodate large groups. In Houston, the city, you wouldn't see trees like this. You wouldn't look up and just see the sky just wide open. So I do this catching and bug and all this bug catching because it's fun, stress relieving. I just love being out there, getting dirty, getting nitty gritty. Check out these dudes. So there's a couple of things that we'll be able to look at that will give us an idea of how the environment is doing by looking at insect diversity. One is the sheer number of species that we find in a particular spot. So a place that has greater number of insect species is probably doing better from an environmental perspective. But also we can look at what those species are. So if we find a lot of invasive species of insects, that's an indication that the environment's not doing so well. If we're finding a lot of native species and not as many invasive species, then that's an indication that the environment's doing well. Something that they discover here can assist in assessing what practices are best or what, what you know, makes for a healthy ecosystem, then we can disseminate that information to other landowners or to the community. Nice find, yo. That is freaking humongo. I think the students get a lot out of this kind of experience when they're able to come and do a project that they're given a little bit of direction on, but really at the end of the day it's up to them. They choose exactly how they're going to sample. We bring them to the spot and then we give them an opportunity to kind of explore, look around, indulge their curiosity, and hopefully inspire them to, to, uh, to pursue, you know, pursue environmental studies or pursue ecology as something that becomes part of their lives. Look at the sheer size of that thing. And we thought we just got the biggest cricket that we had ever.